All right, so last thing I want to cover with you, just the introductory stuff, is my IT lab. And if you click on my IT lab right here, we're inside Blackboard, go to my IT lab. And here are all the instructions about how to use my IT lab, including how to buy it. And then once, uh, once you've got it all, you click on my IT lab. And the first time, you're going to go to student right there, and you'll enter a course ID. You'll get that course ID right here. Uh, so there's the course ID. And, uh, and don't copy this number. It might be the wrong one. So get, get whatever number is currently in there. Don't write this down from the video. But uh, you come in there, you get the course ID, and then you enter it. And, uh, and then once you've done that, It'll ask you, do you want Microsoft Office 2013? You say yes, that's the newest one, that's the one I want. And then you enter your course ID, which is that thing, and then you'll have to either pay or put in your access code. So that's the first time you come to my IT lab. Um, after you've done all that, you'll just go to sign in, and you'll choose which product, which is Microsoft Office 2013. And you'll enter your username and password, and then you'll see your courses, or you might need to add a course. Somewhere in here, I think there's a link for adding a course. I'm just looking for that. Hopefully, it'll just show up because you entered that student ID. And then you go into the course. And so when you go into the course, you click that button. <coughs> and you're going to see a whole bunch of crap over here. You won't see all this stuff. You see there's like a little line through the person. This is only being shown because I'm, uh, I'm the instructor. But uh, you will see course materials. And so when you click on course materials, and you can see that the little browser button there is like saying I'm, I'm working. You'll come in here, and here's the e-textbook, so you could have access to that, and the PowerPoints, and I guess this is the e-textbook. You click on that, and, and then for iPad and whatever, there's more stuff in there. So I'm just going to go back to the course right there, but that's the e-textbook where you could get it. And then you come into, like, this area, Windows 7, and I don't care if you do this right here. I don't care if you do the training. Uh, it, I, your grade does count towards your grade doing the assessment. So you could take the assessment, and if the assessment doesn't, if you don't pass it, you could take these as many times as you want. If you don't pass it, you could go take the training then. And um, sorry, I look over to see what's actually on the screen that's being recorded. And so uh, you take the the assessment, and then if you don't pass or get a good score, you could go take the training, and then you could take the assessment again, and it's always going to keep your highest score. So you have nothing to lose by taking these assessments as many times as you want. Uh, something, so you've got one here, you've got four here, four here, four here, two here. So that's 12, 14, 15. So you want to do one assessment once a week, basically. So I know these aren't set in the week order thing. But this is the thing where it's like our department has to comply with certain standards and it's kind of set up on high and just piped down to us. So I can't even change the names of this stuff right here. So anyhow, uh, that's where you come in and you take about one of these a week. And then don't like leave this until the last week, but you have a chapter quiz, which you should be doing one a week too, right? So basically one chapter a week and take the quiz in there. And, uh, yeah, so that's how that works. And then in exams, you also have these lab tests, which need to be done. And, again, these are just standardized tests, which get rolled down from on high. Part of the, I don't know, double-edged sword, uh, which is standardized testing. So uh, you got to do these things. And I think they're pretty lame, but you got to do them. So you do those, and they count towards your grade. And then, finally, in exams, you will see the final uh, the, during the last two weeks of the semester. So you'll be able to come in here and take the final. You'll want to take it probably the week before finals week just to get it done and out of the way. But it'll be available the week before finals week. Yeah, and our class ends Monday of finals week. So you want to get everything done um, then. All right, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's how my IT lab works. Again, don't forget to come in here and do chapter quizzes and these lab tests and then do all the stuff in here. And the last thing here in my IT lab is you have grades, and you'll click on that, and you could click on custom view, and, uh, and it'll show you all of the things you need to do that you get graded on. So this is where you can kind of like keep track of, am I doing everything I get graded on, and what's the grade I've earned. And so, you know, hopefully it'll also show you the summary final grade, and then that's half your grade in the class. So that's how, how this class works. Half the class is in Blackboard, half the class is in my IT lab, and uh, you're going to be using both things to earn your grade in this class. Obviously, you got to buy my IT lab, $75. That's the price 
for the materials. That's just the way it is. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to pass the class. Um, so that's that. All right. Uh, make sure you read the syllabus. Just take time to look through it. Really try to lay everything out. Try to make it as clear as possible. And if you have any questions, you could come in for the online students into the discussions area, wherever that went right there, and post your questions in there. That's probably the quickest way to get an answer because then your fellow classmates can also respond. Cool. So I'm glad you're here. I look forward to learning some good stuff with you or sharing good stuff that you will be learning. And, uh, and I think you're going to be really impressed with yourself. It's going to be a fair amount of work, but uh, at the end of the semester, you'll be like, wow, I, I got some really great skills. And that's going to serve you well for the rest of your life. Um, so that's the main thing I'm trying to impart in this class is giving you something which is totally useful and which will make your life better. Um, because you're going to be able to use technology like nobody else. A few other people once you're done with this class. All right, so welcome, and, uh, and man, let's have a good time and learn some great stuff. And just make sure you're working on it every week.